Hello, my loves, and welcome to your weekly reading. This is from August 17 to August 23rd, 2019. Hello, my beautiful Libras. How are all of you doing? Uh, I hope you enjoyed the Aquarius full moon. For me, actually, it just knocked me off of my feet, and I've been um, going through a lot of upgrades and transformations in the last couple of days, and that's why your reading was done in time. Uh, just remember, like Spirit says, everything is in divine timing, and what's important right now is that I'm here for you. So now, uh, to all the uh, to all of you that are here, my beautiful Libras, I want to thank you for all the love and support that you have been giving me on my channel, and for the new subscribers that are here, welcome to my uh, welcome to my channel. And for those of you that do not know, I channel messages through my higher self, through the divine, and I use the cards as a tool to deliver the messages. So let's get started with your reading. First and foremost, I have my singing bowl. And what I do with this is I clear my energy, my space, and then I do the same thing for you. And all you need to do is take a deep breath in. And when you excel, you excel through your solar plexus and let it go to Mother Gaia, Mother Earth. Okay, so let's get started. Perfect. So now I'll take my spray and spray Archangel Michael, of course, my crystals, my sacred space, and you. Here we go. So I, when I got into your energy, uh, my beautiful Libras, I feel that some of you have people around you that are like pretending to be happy for you, but they're not. I feel that there's a sense of people that are jealous and envious of you. And uh, you're working really hard in getting, in, in, maybe from the space that you are, to getting to what your dreams are. And when they're showing me that there's victory that's coming for you. So there is some sort of victory here. For the men that are here, I do see that there's a, a woman that is um, wanting to be with you and is showing you every which way possible and how much they could uh, be there for you or love you, as I see that. For others of you, there is a mother figure that is reaching out through your dreams, um, through your dreams and your visions as well, but also when like you're in your room alone and you feel someone around you, uh, it is your mother that's coming towards you to give you love and comfort at this moment. I see that for some of you will need to have more patience, okay, when it comes to romance in your life. Because uh, I do feel that there's like doors opening to romance, like there's like a lot of opportunities maybe for some of you. But uh, there's a sense of being in fear as well. I see that... Um, that some of you have protected or put uh, enough boundary that you don't want to let uh, people come in. And you need to check yourself on that, why you're doing that, okay? There's something that uh, Spirit is saying that there is the doors that are opening up. And there is uh, someone more than one possibility here for you. Uh, what I'm seeing also is that you're overanalyzing a situation, maybe. Uh, so you're you're creating something out of uh, fear based out of not having enough confidence as well and there is like I feel like you feel that there is a sense of like some kind of like blessing that's coming towards you because you've been feeling it or already sensing it I'm also picking up that you have a lot of good friends around you my beautiful Libra good friends or family members strong strong okay I do see that okay and maybe celebrations going out in there and situations like that but I'm also picking up here is where you're um, 
what I'm picking up very strong here is where your insecurities are, where you're overanalyzing a situation and they're asking you to let it go. They're asking you to let it go because um, you, when you think negatively about something or someone, and uh, especially if it's false prophecies because it's because of self-confidence, you're creating something that's bigger than, okay? It's what they're showing me. Now, what is the... What is what what does spirit want you wants you what does what does spirit want you to know? Well, he wants you to know that there's positive movement that's coming towards you. In the month of August, some of you probably are traveling, some of you are gonna be relocating or moving, and it could also mean that you're leaving a past behind, a past of or patterns or situations behind you, and you're going to brighter days. Okay, and number eight is very strong here. Also, number thirty-three is very strong here as well. And new beginnings at number 44 is strong. Work, everything is in divine divine timing. Uh, for those of you that are that are working on yourselves, congratulations, you've come a long way. For others of you, you still need to be patient and enjoy your life. Be happy where you are now and it will come through. So now, what I have here is cards for you. Um, what I, that I took out, your crystal card. And your crystal card this week is Topaz. So your crystal card is topaz and it says forgiveness heals time to release repressed anger as it's holding your health and happiness. You could use this through your meditation or put an intention on it and carry it with you during the day. And when you feel that you have things to release, hold it in your hand and let it do its magic. Okay. Topaz. Your affirmation is empathy, empathy. And it says here, I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. I am open to seeing both sides of a situation. And so it is. And your work of light is keepers of the earth. Keepers of the earth. I feel a lot of you are ascending or you're going through an ascension where you're connecting to your higher self and to the divine. And it says you are not alone. Ancient ancestors stand beside you. You are not alone ancient ancestors stand beside you. So I also have a card at the end of the reading. We'll look at it together because I have to read it to you because it comes from a book. And this is a very powerful and no ego intended. When I say powerful, it's so powerful. These cards, it's amazing. And these are transmissions of your soul. So this is something that your soul is trying to tell you. And we're going to take a look at it at the end of the reading. Now, let's go forward and let's get started with your reading, my beautiful Libra. So I hope that you've been doing well. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and to uh, hit the notification bell. like that. that will lead you to all the videos that I will be uploading. And what else do I have to say? If this reading, reading does not resonate with you, I'll also look uh, at your rising moon or Venus. But at the same time, look at the Sagittarius. If you have Sagittarius, Jupiter, Neptune, Chiron, C-H-I-R-O-N, and Mercury in Libra, this reading is for you as well. I feel that there's a, uh, for some of you, there's some kind of, uh, a lot of you are writing in a journal, right? You're writing and writing and writing and you're trying to figure out something that you're like, there's something that you're trying to find a new strategy or a new way of doing things, I feel. Okay, you're changing up your plans or your game is what they're saying to me. Keep writing because it's going to help you. What are the messages for my beautiful... Libras. Okay, so um, what was I going to say? So I'm going to do a Celtic cross. And the reason that I do a Celtic cross, it shows me now what's coming up. And if there is any further uh, um, dates that are further down the line, I will give them to you. And don't forget to write them down. Okay? And then you can come back at the ne at the end of the, uh, the, of the week and see if the reading resonates with you. So let's see what's happening for you, my beautiful Libras. Libra, Libra. Okay. Let's put this here. Some of you, uh, this Aquarius new moon, a full moon, sorry. This Aquarius full moon has, um, has brought a lot of anxiety and fears for some of you. There is a passage that you're going through and there's some things that are still not revealed. But I think after this Aquarius full moon, things will be revealed to you. Some of you are dealing with a cancer. Some of you with a Pisces. I see that uh, in the past... You were being pulled in two different directions or multitasking and it asked you, asked you to ground yourself, okay? Um, I see that also that you, um, 
I, I think that your intuition heightened visibility and seeing and hearing and feeling. And a lot of communication is taking place. A lot of communication, great ideas. You seeing the truth in a situation, my beautiful Libras. You standing in your integrity and truth, okay? And um, cutting out, cutting through uh, all the fog, cutting out through people, cutting everything out. Okay, situations, patterns, and behaviors. Okay, what's coming up to you here, I feel that some of you are not saying, at this time, I feel... Correct me if I'm wrong. There's something that you're not saying or you're not, you're not talking about. I don't feel like you want to share. Is what I'm picking up. And you are reevaluating everything at this moment. Some of you are going through like a review of your past, like a contract or something like that. There's a journey that you need to go through. You're hoping to get a, some kind of a love relationship or a commitment. And that's what maybe you are worried about. So you are dealing with an Aries. I also see Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, and you got the completion card. Beautiful. That's the last card underneath. Oh, that's really great. Okay, I'm going to show you the cards, and then we're going to go for it. Okay. So I got the Moon card. This is what's representing now. What's crossing you is an Aries. Doesn't have to be an Aries. Could also be, uh, this could be business partnership or someone that is a lot. Of, someone that has a lot of wisdom. I, okay, uh, this could also be a father figure for some. In the recent past, you've been pulled in two different directions. Maybe there was no, more than one person here for you. And also, you got the Ace of Swords. Clarity. What's, what's happening now is that you're reevaluating everything. Maybe some of you, your budget, or you're just seeing how far you've come. Then you got another seven. You got the Seven of Swords. There's something that has to come out. Maybe there's something about a job for some of you. That the truth is coming out with someone was withholding information from you. That could also be that. And you also got the Ace of Wands. Well, this is you. Right now, this is something that this could be a love relationship that's coming to you. That's very, very passionate, very loving. This could also be inspiration, creativity. Okay. And what is around you that you don't see coming? I do see a Cancer Scorpio or Pisces. It doesn't have to be. But this is someone that's coming in. That's coming in to give you a cup of love. Okay. They're very expressive. They know their feelings. They know how to talk about it. What you're hoping is for the Ten of Cups. Okay, this is a beautiful card. Two people coming in together. And you got the World card, the last card. Completion is done. Past, past, past lessons learned. New beginnings are starting. End of delays. And light travel is also seeing. I'm seeing here for some of you. And underneath the card, you got the Ace of Cups. Unconditional love coming towards you. This is sacred love. This could be also you turning into unconditional love again. Now, we're going to go deeper into the reading and see what is this all about here, okay? So let's get started. So why is the moon here for my beautiful Libras? I'm happy to be here with you at this moment. I do have a song for you, by the way. I'm going to start with the songs again. Um, so the song that came to me was from Rihanna, and the name of the song is called Stay. Okay, you're you're uh, hoping for um, someone to come and apologize to you, or you're waiting for something that's coming in. You're like there's a waiting period here. Uh, maybe it's an offer you're waiting for, some kind of offer. Okay, some kind of offer. Some of you could be dealing with a, a Sagittarius, uh, Leo, or Aries. I feel very strong. A fire sign here for some of you. Uh, I feel this person comes in and out, in and out, is not very stable in your life, uh, but they, they, they have a hard time leaving you. They don't leave, like they'll probably cut communication for a bit, uh, not talk for a bit, and then they come back. But some of you are waiting for this person to come back and offer you something. Also, this could be an offering of um, business, money, or an opportunity. Okay, let's see what this is all about. Because uh, there's a lot of fears around this. And what I feel is that after this full moon effect, okay, the full moon does not only last for a week. It, it, the effect is there for a, a month or two sometimes. And so what's taking place is that here is that when this truth comes in for you, whatever it is that's coming in for you that's going to be revealed, well, you're going to have the Ten of Pentacles. There's a new beginning that's taking place in a home. There's a new beginning taking place with 
a significant other here and there will be a new beginning that will be taking place okay where you're gonna there's a really new beginning of being in the unknown i see that here but there's a waiting period right now let's see what this uh, emperor card is all about here why is the emperor here For those of you that are dealing with a Sagittarius, look at the Sagittarius reading. It's not very similar, but you got the last card the same. Why is the Emperor card here? Some of you are dealing with a Capricorn. Someone are, or if this is not, this could be also Saturn. Maybe you have Saturn. You have Libra and Saturn for some of you. Or you have Mars in Saturn, uh, Mars in Libra. Uh, it could be as well. Uh, but here what it tells me also here is that uh, there's someone that you're attached to. For others, there's an addiction here. It doesn't have to be alcohol or drugs. It could be just any type of addiction. Or it's uh, I see here as Saturn is coming in to change something in your status when it comes to love or partnership in money. Okay, there's something taking place here. Because there is someone coming in. There is. They're very slow moving, okay? You can be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, but it doesn't have to be that sign. Just that they're very kindred souls. They come back, they'll, they're very humble. They have, they watch you or they'll watch your back, okay? And I see here that you're waiting for this person. So some of you are just waiting for someone. Or if it's not a person, you're waiting for an opportunity in finances. And this is you, my beautiful Libras. Or you're dealing with a Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. But this is you standing your ground, speaking your truth, saying what it has to say. Even if you have to be blunt about it, you will be blunt about it. Okay? Because you've seen the truth in everything. Because look, uh, the divine brought you the Ace of Swords. And you're standing in your power. And keep doing what you're doing. Because you're doing it right. Okay? What is this Queen of Swords about? A lot of a lot of like a lot of speaking, a lot of using your uh, throat chakra here, seeing the truth. You're not gonna make anybody come around and uh, pull the pull the rug under you or something like that. That's what I'm picking up here. It's an ending of a difficult situation. It's an ending for you, okay? There's an ending taking place, a new beginning. So it's an ending of a difficult situation where you've been holding a lot on your back. Some of you were dealing with a Sagittarius Leo or Aries here, okay? And this person is coming back passionate, strong, okay? They changed. There's something about them. Something has changed for them, okay? Or this could be you in one person as well, okay? In the energy. But I do see as a person looking at you. They're looking at you. Okay, they and you're not looking at them. You're looking like front, like you have, you already have your vision. You already know what you want. You have your, and someone's coming in and they're being strong in their own way as well. Okay, more refined is what I see. What is the two of uh, pentacles all about here? What is the two of pentacles all about here? Well, uh, maybe in the last week or so, or the last two weeks or two months, uh, what Spirit is saying is that you're multitasking, you're doing a lot at the same time. Um, you're not grounded and you need to rest, okay? There's something about you resting and meditating is what I'm picking up very strong here. Why is the two of pentacles and the four of swords reversed? I know someone's asking me a question here. When I get to you. Okay. Something about a home that's not completed. I see 1111 11 here. Something's not completed. But you're far away from... Um, some of you are, are, are not around drama at this this particular point till now. There's something that's not completed in a home. So already I see a lot of fours on the ground. 44, 77, 33. New beginnings, 10, 10. Let's see what this is. 11. 111 and 1111. 11. You're seeing the signs. Why is it four ones? You're going to rise above this. Some, you are going to rise above this. You're going to go to calmer waters. Something is coming in faded for you. Okay, it's your destiny. Someone asked me before to go back to the Queen of Swords and the King of Rods to ask another question. So I will do this right now for you. 
I feel you. Queen of Swords and the King of Rods. What is this all about? What is this all about? There's a blessing that has to take place. There's a healing and a blessing that has to take place that has not really taken place. Or maybe you're dealing with an Aquarius here. This could also be the Aquarius for New Moon. It's not happening at this moment. Because there is some things that have to come around. Uh, meaning it's uh, it's not in the right in the in divine timing. I'm gonna ask another question. Maybe you're dealing with someone, uh, Libra, that is um, there's a delay here because something has to come to light, okay? Someone is holding information from you or you're holding information from someone and when that come that gets revealed then everything is going to take place in the way it should be why is the king queen of swords and the king of rods here with the star reversed what is this all about what is this all about Well, give me one more second. There we go. Yeah. Uh, there's some kind of imbalance here. Maybe you're dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. This, this could be stability and instability in money. Um, in um, someone is not... Well, anyways, if you're... For some of you... Now, this is not all of you. For some of you, um, you're trying to manifest in a position where you're feeling left out of so you're trying to manifest something but you're feeling you're not in your positive energy you're not feeling positive about it so whatever you're trying to manifest is not coming in because why i told you because things have to, something something has to be revealed to you still and uh, and they're asking you to rest and to take care of yourself it's very important the moment this negative energy or this whatever it is that you're thinking negatively will come through whether if this is a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or an Aquarius, or any other sign, whether if this has to do with finances or love that's coming in, there is a process that you need to go through, and you need to wait, okay? There is a waiting point right here for some of you, okay? So, do not worry. Why is the Seven of Pentacles here? Let's move on. Seven of Pentacles. Seven of Pentacles. Okay. What's happening? I see that there's uh, less fighting around you and less drama. Okay. You're looking at the past and you're looking into the now. I see that there's less people fighting. Even though the energy is still around you, it is subsiding you at this time. Maybe it was with, with a Sagittarius Leo or Aries here. Why is the Five of Swords reversed? What five of wands reversed with the seven of pentacles? What is this all about for my beautiful Libras? Again, here I'm picking up. Some kind of dream that's coming towards you. Something huge is coming towards you. Victory. I see victory and success here and abundance. This could be in love, finances. It's all here. It's an ending. You you healed yourself. You healed from your broken heart. You healed. This is something that happened a long time ago. You've been doing the work. You've been doing the work. You need to be patient. Some of you are not patient. Some of you are dealing with a Sagittarius. But patience is needed. And you need to work on yourself. Self-love, self-care. Okay, it's very important here. Meditation. Take care of you. You're not in balance right now. Why is the Ace of Wands here? Some of you are blocking your past or blocking someone. Okay, and some of you, this also means that you've been working hard towards your goals, your dreams. 
Okay, and you, there's new beginnings that are going to take place here for you. Hmm. Okay, some of you have given up on something. The tower, the tower is coming in to change everything for you. And this is a beautiful card. Why is this happening? Because you need to know the truth of a situation. Because you need things to move forward. Because things, there's beautiful things like new beginnings of love. New beginnings and finances here. Where you're manifesting everything. You're getting the blessing. You're getting the healing. You've got the unconditional love. The completion is here for you. Okay, so the tower is coming in. The divine coming in to clear again. To shake the house. To clear energy from you. To clear the situation. Open doors. Close doors. And bring in what's forth for you. Okay? And it's usually a beautiful thing when the tower hits. Oh, I forgot about the Seven of Swords here. I just jumped. Let me go back to the Seven of Swords. Sorry. Why is the Seven of Swords here? Why is the Seven of Swords here? Okay. Again, I'm kept, I'm picking up very strong. Is such Terry's Leo or Aries here? Just someone very driven and dramatic and charismatic. Does that, for some of you, there will be a reconciliation. Not all of you, but some of you will be. There is a reconciliation that's going to be taking place for you with a Sagittarius here. Or a fire sign or any other sign. Because I, mean, I have all the signs here. But there is a, some type of reconciliation here that will be taking place. For others of you... Maybe there was a third party situation in the past. If this has to do with finances or someone at work is trying to steal your money, your job, your hours, or talking bad to the bosses, to the employees about you, or this is some of you are doing this to other people. I don't know. I have to put it out there because it's very strong in your chart. Okay, uh, and uh, some of you are not. Some of you are not speaking of the truth, and there's something that is. Something needs to change here for you, okay, Libras, because uh, whatever that unfolded in the past, if this has to do with someone here, uh, self-worth is very important. You need to work on yourself is what they're telling me. You need to self-love and, you know, meditate, do your thing. It's very strong here. And also some kind of instability when it comes uh, also emotional loss, on something that's not stable. But the tower, like I said, is coming in to change this for you, okay? The tower is coming in to change this. What's around you is someone that wants to share something with you, okay? And uh, this person could also be a high priest or high priestess, okay? Or this is you and your energy, that you are very intuitive. Uh, you, love, you have a lot of wisdom, okay? Um, maybe this Aquarius new moon is working on your crown, on your third eye. Uh, some of you are getting or going through ascension symptoms, huge, Ascent, ascension systems here where you're discovering who you are or you're dealing with someone in that kind of uh, predicament why is the high priestess here you're confused or the other person is confused there's a confusion here that's taking place you can see people are seeing you or you could see the truth in something there's something that There's something that's not coming into fruition in the way that you want at this moment. And there's <clears throat> you need to be patient. You need to abide your time. You need to take care of you, uh, whether this is business or work or love, okay, until the tower comes. When the tower comes, the world, the everything will, will shift. The magician, the star card, um, the new beginnings, everything will take place. There's some kind of unstableness here. What is this all about? Maybe some of you are trying to get give love to someone and the person that you're dealing with, uh, they don't have enough to give back or they're not stable and balanced and they, uh, they their cup is empty. They can't give you what you wanted and you know this already. Why is the Ten of Cups here? What is this Ten of Cups about? This is what you're hoping to get and you will get it. But you have to let go. 
You're overthinking it too much. You're hoping that it's going to be long term. What else is there? About? What is this about? Where is this in the cups here? Okay. You're feeling left out of the situation completely. You're feeling left out or lack of money. But you're leaving, you, you feel like you're left out of a situation. Because you're too close to it. What is the world card about? You're not seeing things clearly. Some of you are very angry at this time. You don't have, you, you can't seem to focus on ideas. Okay, let's see what's going on here. Okay, you're feeling stuck in a situation that you are putting yourself into because you're not stuck. It's just that you're overthinking too much. You're overanalyzing too much. There will be taking a huge transformations coming in for you, maybe in the month of from October 21st to November 21st um, or November 21st to December 21st. There's a huge transformation that's taking place. Maybe you're dealing with a Scorpio and new beginnings and the world coming in. And some of you are going to be relocating or moving or traveling, okay? Maybe some of you are traveling in September as well. Because I see here, you're moving to calmer waters. The sun is shining. You're going to be going away. And what's the end result? One more card. What is the end result of all this reading? What is this all about? One more card. Or not what's all about, but one more card. <laughs> that card went up. <laughs> Well, shows me no more fears. No more fears. Let me see. Any more cards? There's a friendship here for you. There is a friendship. I feel you're, you're a bit off balance now in these, uh, as, these energies that we've been having. Don't be too hard on yourself. Everything will be okay. You are going to be going through a major transformation. Take the time to go inside. Things are have to be revealed to you. I think this is also going to be revealed to you uh, in uh, from August 21st to September 21st as well. You need to go inward. You need to do your work for some of you. Not all of you, but for some of you, you do. There's things that still are not shown to you because that's the way it is. The ending of people being jealous of you and backstabbing you is gone. Okay? It's eluding you. Huge transformation. Some of you are dealing with a Virgo. And I hope you enjoyed your reading. So now let's go towards your card. So <clears throat> this is your card. I'm going to take... You're going to look at it. I just saw 3311. And it's number two. And it's called Awakening. Okay? Awakening. You can look at the card while I read you the passage. Okay? And it says, you are or about to experience an aha moment. This will come as a feeling of deep truth that seemed to have slipped your mind. You have often thought there must be another way to experience and live this life. And you are about to discover it. You are opening your heart and mind to the full, authentic you. Time-honored ways that have worked in the past are no longer bringing the results you desire. and may have become obstacles to your dreams. Beliefs become intermingled with everyday processes and who we are and who we think we are no wonder it can it can seem hard to let them go when you rouse from the slumber of conformity you awaken into the same world but through the eyes of soul love you can see beyond fear to the creative possibilities that are everywhere relax and enjoy this time it is your natural evolution So over here, what they're saying for you to do is uh, you have some reflections and actions if you want to do this. is Nourish your mind and body with the wisdom of your soul by taking deep breaths as often as you like. Close your eyes and smile for a few moments every hour as you enjoy connecting with your soul. And recognize that the same life force flowing through you flows through all of life. And they're asking you for, se for seven consecutive 
for seven consecutive days, write or draw one new thing you learned about yourself that day. They want you to do it for a whole week. And they said that this is going to help you. And you will need to meditate as well. So I hope that you enjoyed your reading, my beautiful Libras. Don't forget to comment, share, like. Don't forget that I have your back. And um, know that I love you, okay? And I'll see you next week. Bye.